Okay, we're taking a look at uh, Prep Test 80, uh, game number one. And we've got uh, five students, uh, Juana, Kelly, Latifa, May, Olga. Uh, they're on two teams, the green team with the red team. One team has two members, one team has three members. Now, they don't tell you which one has two and which one has three, and that's obviously going to lead to some interesting uh, deductions. And they also tell you that one team member is the facilitator. Now, stuff like this has appeared on the LSAT before. If you go back, it's some game from the 20s. Uh, they tell you that bills are paid on Wednesday and Thursday, and one day has you know, three bills paid on one day and four bills paid on the other day. The same thing is basically happening here. And also, there are a lot of games out there where they'll split people into some kind of teams, and they'll make one the president of the team, or one the chief officer, or one the secretary. And here they're giving somebody on each team. A title, the facilitator. You're going to set this up built around the green team and the red team. And you're going to anchor that across the top. You're going to drop a line down and you're going to start with two sketches. Two and three. And you're going to do another one. Three and two. And we're doing that because if you look at the five questions we have here on this game, Three of them begin with the word which. When questions begin with the word which, uh, they're asking you about deductions you can make at the beginning of the game. When questions begin with the word if, they're asking you to work out new information on the basis of that question. Since which questions outnumber if questions, there are going to be deductions on this game. Also, we have some great concrete rules here. So Juan is assigned to a, assigned to a different team than Olga. L is on the green team. K is not a facilitator. O is a facilitator. Now take a look at how that plays out. J and O can't be together, so what do we have to do? We got to split them up. We got a J-O, and we're going to have an O-J. And on this one, we're going to have a J-O, and we're going to have an O-J. L's on the green team, L's on the green team, L's on the green team. And at that point, take a look at this one. This one's already done. The green team's filled up. Who's left over? I got M and K left over. And if I come down to uh, this one, M and K are still left over. So one is going to be... MK and one is going to be KM and this game is is basically done. Uh, making two sketches up front when the rules seem to indicate that there are two ways the game can play out can be very, very, very effective. This is the LSAT taking mercy upon your wretched soul and like cutting you a break for once because this is supposed to be the easy game. Believe me, there were much, much harder games on this particular uh, section of games and this one, this is a game you have to do in about six to seven minutes because, believe me, there's 10, 11, 12-minute games further down the line. All right, so let's take a look at the questions. Well, question number one is what could be an accurate listing of members uh, and the facilitators? How do we do these? We do these just by applying the rules one rule at a time. J and O, they can never be together. Guess what? Answer choice A has J and O together. Now, go through the rules one rule at a time. Take a look at the others. Do you have any other answer choices with J and O together? You don't, and all the other answer choices, J and O, are split up, but A is gone. L has to be on the green uh, team. Well, do we have anywhere L is on the red team? We take a look at choice D has L on the red team. Gone. K cannot be a facilitator, and we're down to answer choices B, C, and E. And in answer choice E, K is a facilitator. Now we're down to two answer choices. Last rule, O is a facilitator, and uh, take a look uh, at answer choice B. O is not a facilitator in that one, meaning B is gone, meaning C has to be the right answer. Go through these one rule at a time through all the answer choices. Don't apply all four rules to answer choice A and all four rules to answer choice B and all four rules to answer choice C. By the time you've gotten down to C, you want to check these rules 12 times. This was more efficient. On we go. Well... Question number two is what must be true. Questions that are phrased this way, which following must be true, are based upon deductions that we can do at the beginning of the game. So, for instance, um, <clears throat> take a look at the first one. Uh, uh, answer choice A, Juan is on the red team. Does Juan have to be on the red team? I've got her on both the green team and the red team. That doesn't have to be true. Latifa is a facilitator. I haven't determined who my facilitators are because I don't actually know where Olga, my one facilitator, is. 
Uh, Olga's on the green team. No, Olga can go either way. So answer choice C is gone. Uh, D, Juana and May are both not facilitators. Now, this one's hard to see. Um, because if Juana and May are both facilitators, think about it this way. If Juana and May were both facilitators, we'd have to put Juana over here and May over here to be a facilitator, which means here would be Olga. Well, we know Olga's a facilitator. We couldn't have both Olga and May being a facilitator. So at least in this sketch, answer choice D, yeah, that must be true. They're not both facilitators. But what about in this other sketch? Well, if we're going to have Juana and May both be facilitators, once again, we would have to split them up, whether it's putting M on green and J on red, or J on green and M on red, we'd have to split them up some way. And Olga would once again be stuck with uh, M no matter what happens. Uh, you'd have both Olga and May being facilitators. That can't happen. And so question number two, the answer choice has to be D. Question number three, we're looking for something that must be false. Okay. Again, questions like this are based upon deductions we do at the beginning of the game. If you didn't have this at the beginning of the game, you made this very, very difficult for yourself. So let's take a look at A. Latifa is a facilitator, and she's assigned to the same team as Kelly. Could we have L and K together with L being a facilitator? Sure, in this sketch, I could have L here, K here, L's a facilitator, working with J maybe. That would work. We take a look at B. Could M be a facilitator on the same team as Kelly? Well, could I have M and K together? I sure could have M and K together in this first sketch. And could M be the facilitator? Sure. As long as O was over here being a facilitator, M and K could be facilitators. B, looks like it could happen. Olga is a facilitator in C. And she's assigned to the same team as A. Could we have O and M together with O being the facilitator? Sure, I've got it going on in this sketch. I've got it going on in this sketch as well. We've got O and M being able to be together and O being a facilitator. That works out fine. We take a look at D. Latifa is a facilitator and she's on a different team than uh, Juana. So can we have L being a facilitator on a different team than Juana? Well here, if L's on a different team than Juana, then this would be Olga. Because if this isn't J, this is O. And we know O is a facilitator. You can't have both L and O being facilitators. Uh, so that doesn't work in this sketch. What about down here? Could we do the same thing? No, you get the same problem. If J is on a different team than L, then J is over here, O is over here on team green, O we know based on the rules is facilitator, and choice D is positing that L is also facilitator. You can't have O and L being facilitators on the same team, and D must be true. On we go. Question four. If Latifa is a facilitator, what could be true? All right, so here we're just going to say L's facilitator, but we have two sketches. And here's what you have to do, even though you're not gonna like it, never be lazy. Recopy both of your sketches. You're gonna have plenty of room on test day and you're gonna have plenty of time. The smartest people are going to make their two sketches and they're just going to recopy them oj there's l that's m and k that's k and m i hope that's visible it's a little scrunched so we're going to have latifa be a facilitator here i'll just mark it latifa facilitator in that sketch latifa's a facilitator in that sketch and if latifa's a facilitator who does that affect it affects olga because now olga can't be a facilitator here since olga is definitely a facilitator olga is going to be the facilitator over on team red She's the facilitator. Olga will be the facilitator over on Team Red, which means J is here, which means J is there in that sketch. Now we know who the facilitators are on each team. And this is just a could be true. Who's your could be trues left over? M and K are kind of your could be trues are left over. Take a look through the answer choices. Uh, J and K are both on the red team. No, um, we know J is definitively on the green team. Uh, J and M are both assigned to uh, the red team. Nope, Jay's on the green team again. C, Latifa and Olga are both assigned to the green team. Could we have L and O on the green team together? No, it's L and J on the green team together. 
D, M, and O are both assigned to the green team. No, O is going to be over on the red team. And finally, down to answer choice E, M and O are both on the red team. M and O in the very first sketch are definitely on the red team together. In the other one, they could be because we don't know if the second person's is K or M, but it could be M and O together. And the answer is definitely E. And then on to number five. It's the last question, so I can use my original sketch for it. I never need it again. If M is assigned to the green team, well, guess what? It can't be this sketch because M's already on the red team in this sketch. So I don't need I don't need that one. I'm never going to need it again. Here, I'm going to have M on the green team. That's going to be M. That'll be K. Get rid of those. Then all I've got left over is, uh, since I know K is not a facilitator, for sure, based upon the rules, I know that this is going to be O being a facilitator. And this could be J being a facilitator, but we're looking for something that must be true, but K is on the red team, and choice B, that develops very quickly, and we are done with this game. Ideally, this game probably in something like six to seven minutes, closer to six if you're going to be able to get through the other ones. Hope that helped.